In his best-selling book, God is Not Great, atheist Christopher Hitchens claims that religion causes sectarianism, strife, war, poverty and a host of societal evils. Religion, Hitchens writes, poisons everything. So how might a Christian respond? Well, first, there's a major problem with Hitchens' argument. You could remove the word religion from his statement, religion poisons everything, and replace it with many other words. Politics, for example. Politics causes division, argument and war. Politics poisons everything. Or what about money? Money causes crime, it causes resentment and poverty. Money poisons everything. You see, it seems to be the case that whatever human beings touch, we can use to cause damage. That applies to money, it applies to politics, to science and to religion. The problem is not with religion or politics, the problem is not out there somewhere, the problem lies inside us. As the Russian novelist Alexander Solzhenitsyn once wrote, the dividing line between good and evil runs right through the middle of every human heart. You see, what the world needs as an answer to violence and injustice, poverty and pain, is not a clever philosophy, not a religious system, not a new politic, not more money or more education. None will fundamentally change anything. Rather, what is needed is individual transformation, a radical transformation of the human heart. Only Jesus offers us that possibility if we are willing to surrender our lives to him. You see, Christians cannot talk about suffering and evil without talking about Jesus, one to whom violence was done. Jesus' example has inspired billions of Christians to give sacrificially, love unconditionally and to engage in peacemaking. A powerful recent example was the 2006 Amish school shooting in Pennsylvania. Not only did the bereaved families publicly forgive the perpetrator, but they set up a trust fund to help the wife of the shooter who had killed himself also. Only Jesus Christ offers a transformative power to make that kind of choice possible.